Hello, uh, this is Nelly Deutsch, and I'm in my favorite places. Yes, two places. Right now, I'm um, screen sharing, and I'm going to be adding, uploading this to YouTube and Vimeo. But actually, what I'm doing is I'm sh showing you how you can view the recording of a uh, class, okay? And you can see that this is a recording on WizIQ. All right, so uh, let's take a look at this is a recording, and I'm in my favorite place here on WizIQ Live Class. And yes, I love teaching in a virtual class such as WizIQ because it gives me a sense of actually being there with people from around the globe, even though everyone's in their own homes or places and we're not really sharing the same space physically, but we are in so many other ways. So let me take you through this right here. All right, so first of all, I want to show you how you can disable certain things for your convenience or specific way of learning, whether generally or at the time. So let's say I'd like to get rid of certain things. For example, I'd like to get the, rid of the video so I can just focus on this part. And focusing, by the way, is very, very important. I'm reading a great book now by Daniel Goleman called Focus and the importance of really paying attention when you're learning. I mean, daydreaming and not focusing has its purposes, as he says. But right now we're focusing or we're trying to focus. So sometimes there are a lot of distractors such as the webcam. So let's get rid of it at the bottom right. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the webcam. There, it's gone. Now notice that I still have the chat and I'd like to get rid of the chat because that's also, well, right now there's not much, but as the... Um, recording progresses, there'll be lots of communication in the chat box. I'm not really interested in that at the moment, and it is distracting. So I'm going to get rid of it right here, so get rid of the chat. Okay, there we go. So click on the chat, and it's gone. Uh, Google Drive. Okay, now I started talking there. I don't know if you heard that. All right, so notice the other features. I can just view the recordings if I don't like the audio or for other reasons, I can get rid of, okay, I can mute the mic. Okay, this is something that you might want to do, uh, especially if you want to screen share this and you want to add your own voice. And you can do this, by the way. You can use the PowerPoint presentation in the whole class, and you can actually screen share. Um, it's open, as far as I'm concerned, and creative commons and you can reuse it mix it and so on any of my work which is completely free you can do that so you might want to get rid of the voice and add your voice okay and i can do this as well okay so this is something to think about i'm using screencast matic and camtasia at the same time and you'll be seeing this in two different ways the reason i'm using two systems right now to uh, record what i'm doing is because um screencast matic does not allow a third voice um, sometimes. It doesn't come out as clear on Macs, okay? It does on a PC, but not on a Mac. And um, Camtasia has this feature on the Mac. So um, let me continue here with the voice. Okay, are you ready? and two new Google Drive features. So, so let's can... go to the beginning. All right, here goes. This is the beginning. Hello, of... everyone, and welcome. Uh, this is Nelly Deutsch, and this is our weekly Teaching with Technology on WizIQ. Today, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, Google Drive and two new Google Drive features. So if you could just add in the chat box where you're from, what time it is, and anything else you'd like to add, I'd like to welcome you, and thank you for joining. And I see that we've got some new members 
that. Okay, I'm going to move this along. Okay. My Gmail account. Let's move it along. Collaborative way to connect with people through writing, but not only through writing. Educational technology at the top. Now it's here next to uh, okay. Google Plus. Then notice I used Screencast-O-Matic uh, to, well, not really always Screencast-O-Matic. Sometimes I also use Jing because this is a PowerPoint presentation. I use Jing for the images, and then I can add the arrows, okay, which I find very, very useful. Okay, so this is using Jing. And I think I've shared all the features. I'm going to show you. You can watch this full screen. I'm going to get the chat and the videos back. All right, so are you ready? Let's see how that's done. So first of all, I'm going to get the chat up there. It's also in there. There is a chat. You can see there's a lot of information there. And it could be distracting when you're, uh, well, when you're in a live class too, and you can also disable the chat for yourself in the live class, but in the recording as well, in case you didn't know. And then let's get rid, let's get the video back. Okay, so there's the video. It's back. Uh, Notice that the attendee list is not there, which is a good thing because um, we want to make sure that uh, the attendees who don't want to be seen will not be seen in these public classes. And the chat could also be disabled since the names do appear, but um, that's up to the person who adds in the chat box, okay? you can actually uh, not chat. So if you do, you have to be aware of the fact that this will be shared if it's a public class in the recordings. And that's it. I'm looking forward to hearing your comments and feedback as usual. So thank you for joining me.